Hi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, something a bit different today for you. As you must realise by now, I'm a big Royal Enfield fan. Um, Royal Enfield as a company, moving very, very fast. There's new models coming out, left, right and centre. Uh, the new 450 Himalayan, the new 450 Gorilla. Uh, they just not that long ago brought out the uh, shotgun. Um, they haven't really bought anything out new that really floats my boat. I'm a big 500 bullet fan, really am. And my Himalayan here. But I mainly have the Himalayan because of where I live here in Bulgaria. It's so rough. This thing copes with potholes, bad roads, plus I ride in the mountains a lot. Really good bike. But, as we all know, the 411 isn't really a, a motorway bike. And uh, I like to travel, well, I'm on the doorstep of Romania. Uh, there's a whole of Bulgaria to travel, but it's, it's as big as the UK uh, in land mass. So, you know, long rides. But it's just a bit slow for that. It, it's all right. You get used to it in your head to uh, keep used to the speed, but... I'm always frightened when I look in my mirrors and I can see the big grill of a lorry behind me. But yeah, I love it. It's ideal for me around here. Now I've just bought the Interceptor. Now I quite think it's a really good bike because some things I, I really love on it, but uh, I haven't even had time to ride it that much yet. But this, this part here, this is the main thing for me, the engine. Love it, absolutely love it. Now, like I say, Royal Enfield, uh, bringing out models all the time and uh, yeah I quite like to look at them but I don't there's nothing they brought out that would uh, get me to get my wallet out and buy a new one but somebody sent me some photographs uh, well actually in fact it's Motorbream I'd just like to say thank you to them uh, they've uh, photographed a test bike uh, in India, not far from the Himalayan factory. And what it is, it's going to be the new 650 Himalayan. Uh, and what it's going to be is Himalayan, but with one of these in there. And as soon as I've seen it, it's got my mind going. I'm thinking, Christ, that would be absolutely mint for me, that would. It would replace this, it would replace this one here. I should never sell the bullet, but uh, it's a, a do everything bike. Now, all I can tell you is it's a test bike at the moment, but it is built up um, and they've gone a different way with it, which I'm quite pleased about really. What they've done is instead of the conventional forks, Kicked on me now. Instead of the conventional forks, they're going to have a shower upside down forks in it. Um, now, the test bike had uh, adjustable forks in the top here. You can see that on the, the, the photograph they got. Uh, and also, it's twin disc, which would be a chain, really change thing for them. That will, uh, I think, it'd be for the best. Whether they keep it on the bike it uh, actually comes out, you don't know, but say this is only the test bike. But at the moment, it's twin disc, upside down forks. The forks are probably the same as what's in the 450. Maybe revalved a bit, because this is a bit heavier. Um, the engine they're using is the Interceptor. They're going to keep it the same. Uh, same 47 brake horsepower. Um, and also, what it'll do, It'll make it uh, A2 compliant. So your younger riders or new licensed people can have an adventure bike with a, a good 650 engine in it. Uh, now, one of the other things it's got is monoshock. So we're looking over to the original Himalayan here. Monoshock in here. And this is what uh, this is what this is going to be. Monoshock frame, even the exhaust system looks the same as what's on the, the 411. S same angle, same everything. Um, 
and it's obviously it's two into one on it and it's also got where the interceptor's a flat seat on it they've gone it looks like from what I can tell is it's a step seat the same as the old Himalayan um, which sort of points more towards your adventure bike now it's got a lot of the new stuff on it because as times move on you know me I'd like to have them um, kept this style same dash same everything but with a 650 motor in it but uh, obviously as times go on people want different things so this new one looks like it's got a TFT screen which I assume is taken from the 450 or 452 uh, it comes with built-in sat nav and I have heard you can uh, Bluetooth to it for your music and whatnot off your phone and stuff like that. It's not my cup of tea, but this is what people like nowadays. Um, it's going to be quite advanced. I think it's going to be their most advanced bike they've built up to now. I think they'll probably, I would have thought, tune the motor different. So it's got a bit more low down torque. But they've also gone with... The look of it looks more like hmm, the 700 Tenere, the front, the, the screen, high screen, and it's built in. It comes around here to the tank. As uh, We have got Sue's put pictures on, so you, you can see some of the pictures. Um, <clears throat> and I know it comes with a USB port, or well, so this guy tells me anyway. Um, and I think it's a cracking bike. I say it's the first one that as soon as I've seen it, I'm thinking, oh, hmm, I like this. I do. I really like it. I like the idea of it. Now, I think it's going to come in because I, I, I don't think it's going to outdo the 450 because the 450 range is quite well established, not just through Royal Enfield but through other brands now. And that will be more of a, an off-road bike. Um, because I'm looking at the pictures of this, it looks like it's got a 19-inch front wheel, which isn't really the same size as what they put in the Scram 411. So it's not really off-road, off-road. Plus, I think it's going to be too heavy. Uh, I think it'll probably come in about 220, 220 kilogram. Then obviously there'll be saddlebags, aluminium boxes, I assume, for it, and racks, and God knows what else we venture bike guys like. But it won't really be for off-road. I think it's going to be for touring. I do. Like you see the guys with uh, the GS 1250s, the new GS 1300. Most of them are the the Multistrada. I was watching uh, Freddie Dobbs last night. Uh, he was doing a review on the, the new V4 Multistrada. And just as a point, he did a good review on that. He was truthful. And like he's saying, it's too powerful, too big, too heavy. Can't filter down traffic because it was like a monster it was. Um, but it was it was a good review. I think it's going to be along them lines. But it'd be 650, it's going to be a fraction of the weight. Because I think that Multistrada, he said fully loaded up and full tank is 260 kilogram well that's not a off-road bike is it even though it looks well and i think it's the rally raid version so i really think when it comes out because they're talking the end of 2025 uh, so th there's a lot of chance it could be altered to what i've seen but for me it's a go definitely um and I would part with these two then, just have that because it, it, it does. I like this for what it does. I like this for the engine. If you can marry the two together, it's a cracking bike and this is what they've done. Um, now, I will keep you all informed as time goes by and if I get through any more information, um, so we have got contacts in India now, which is helpful. So I do get to hear a bit more, a bit sooner than the public do, which is good for a change. <laughs> uh, obviously, I will 
keep informed, but uh, it'd be nice. I think it's a, it's a bike. I've never been bothered about going on the test rides of the stuff they do because there's millions of people, well, not millions, but hundreds who do YouTube reviews and got access to the bikes. Here, we're always last before they arrive, and uh, when they do, they, there's no chance in Bulgaria of getting a test ride, so it probably mean a trip into Romania or somewhere else. It's, but that's how keen I am. I'm really keen on this, and I think it's a be a good bike, yeah, a good tourer, which will suit me. You know, my off-road days have more or less come to an end now, um, but I do like travelling still and you need good suspension, I do, and that would really sort it, you know, monoshock rear, upside down front forks, shower adjustable, can't beat it, can you? Right, well, it's only a bit of a quick video, so I hope you liked it, and uh, it would be nice to see the 650 Himalayan, you know, a lot of people have talked about it for years now, it'd be good if we could do that, well, it looks like they're doing it. I feel, Probably Royal Enfield do listen to what we say. You never know, do you? But I think it'd be a cracking bike, I do. So, uh, big thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel because it always helps me. It's free to subscribe. It doesn't cost you a penny, but it does help me to keep this channel going. Any questions or anything I can help you with, leave the comments down below and we'll see you shortly in the next video. Cheers.